Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 4, Absence of uh, the Promise Unforizes Viz. Yes. <laughs> In the last episode, we actually encountered Artina, and uh, she rejected Valvatoriz's advances, and then Fenric was jealous. In this episode, we are going to continue checking out the mid-level demon area. Hopefully ride a roller coaster or two. I don't know. Let's go. Ruin- Yep! Yep, we're doing it! Ruin coaster! <laughs> I was joking! <laughs> we're actually on a roller coaster! Forgot about this map. No ranged. Uh, that's a problem. But yeah, meet the bouncer officially. Uh, he likes fists and guns. <coughs> Ooh, aptitude up. That's that could be handy in the future. Look at all this nonsense, though. Well. Let's see here. Probably we want to get rid of the red panel, or the red block, and then the blue block. I don't know if I have any units powerful enough to make it past this, uh, this line of lines. <laughs> Wait, who is that? It's a succubus! Decreased stats of adjacent male enemies. A magic change to swords and, uh... Got a couple of, uh, attacks here. Anyway. It looks like we are going to have to get up close and personal with these bodyguards, so uh, let's get up close and personal. But uh, yeah, due to them being fist users, they, they have pretty high speed, as a matter of fact. This might be harder than expected. In which case, what we should actually be doing is I'll lift and throw. Attacking from behind should make our job a little bit easier. Eh, but not much. That ought to do it. Time to bust some balls. Brace yourself. Forgive me. Is that a bow you've got on it? No, you got a fist. Oh, I'm seeing the uh the, I'm seeing the horns of the roller coaster, that's what I'm seeing. That's two KOs. Victory. And Nick. That's great. That was not quite a KO. Oh well. This is my best move. Get him, Rutil. I can't get him because, uh... Because you're nowhere near close enough to the thing. Oh well. The counter attack again. 
Hooray, let's focus on these guys next, shall we? No, oh, hey, they're even coming to us. How very considerate. Prime example of mook chivalry. I can't get Valvatoras. Uh, that's too powerful. That's too powerful. That might be fine. Overload! Yes, okay. It's a level up for Sasha. Alright, now we can deal with these guys who do not have our, uh, have our no-ranged problem. Hmm. I can do anything in my dream. Well, I guess we'll just have to see. Head splitter. Can't use it. You're out of range. Here I go. All right, Rutil, I guess you stay back and heal. Oh wait, I can't. That's what I have to say about that. Now, let's just continue going up the chain. Mega Ice! Oh, that's just great. But it didn't kill her, at least. Fuka gets a Mega Wind to the face. That's pretty great. This is only going to hit Monica because of the uh, the no ranged effect. It's perfect for us. Can reach. Go Fenric. There. Here I go. Ah, there. Ah. See, you are weak to wind. You've got a pretty small chance to hit, but I think I'm gonna take those chances. Look at the scale of this thing, though. It's like. 
And, and I mean, what's this? It's going to go like right under the thing and everybody's going to hit their head. <laughs> it's a good thing the ride is stopped, I guess. And Nick. Dang it. Oh, can't throw that high. Enjoying yourself. Ooh, gay ice. Uh... Ouch. It's a good thing I wasn't targeting Rutil. Or Stella, I mean. Oh, then again, Fuka's even weaker to ice. That's, uh, that's something. There. All right, uh, Sasha, you deal. You do your whole healing thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's get everybody up here to wreck some face. Okay, hey, I don't know why the why the health indicator is always turning gray. But that was a kill, all right. Here I come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Bonk and then bonk. That is how we are going to do this. Henrik, you do the usual, and these will follow up with Mega Wind. Oh! <laughs> that could be problematic slightly. <coughs> Shut up, phone. Seriously, what even is this? I can't tell. For all I know, it might even just be be the uh, Wi-Fi acting up. And Pusa is now available to create. A point science minister can now be suggested. Okay, two things for the price of one, Grandma. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can pass that bill. Science Minister, 100 mana, 63% approval. stuff up with stuff here. Really aren't getting very many uh, monster weapons here. Mm. Is 
definitely have a ton of those at least. Let's uh, get some medicine. Alright, we should be good. Point Science Minister! 100 mana, I gotta remember that. Whoops, <laughs> I, had a, I had a button on my controller all held down. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Alright, I came in here expecting there to be uh, Basiles, it doesn't look like there are any. But that's good for me, I think. Prinny, you definitely want snacks. Uh, have a legendary Yam Starch, I guess. Senator Philosophy. <laughs> it's actually all the parties that are here for some reason. Hmm. Well, okay, time to begin the vote. Approved! We now have a science minister! Yay! Let's go into our campaign HQ and appoint the science minister. Let's see, science minister gets... ooh, hit up 12.5%. Uh, that will go to... Well, I guess that goes to Sasha. <laughs> Healer with a beard. A mustache, too. That's pretty great. Alright, so that means all of these guys will get, uh, get their stats up a little bit. Why is our fighter all the way up there? Oh, I guess it's because I uh, I moved the Rose and Queen shop. Don't be late. It's not a good place to put our judicial minister, so let's. Uh... Yeah, let's do that. Atelier on Jenna, alchemists of Fall of the Zenith. <laughs> I don't even know. No, oh, I guess I could put. I guess I could put somebody there. Actually, yeah, Desco, you go over here. All right, we now have all ten of our guys in a in a guy. So yeah, that's gonna be our episode. <laughs> Tune in next time for more amusement park shenanigans! Yay!